The lead light windows on the east side of Dunedin's historic railway station have recently been restored, and this time for good. The windows date back to 1906, the year the station was opened, and stained glass artist Kevin Casey says the lead lights have a long history of repetitive damage. They're very popular with tourists. And over the years they unfortunately damaged them, mainly by trying to sit on a little sill in front of them and putting their back to them and breaking the pieces of glass. Casey has replaced 280 pieces of glass throughout the three panels, mostly in the central panel which depicts a locomotive, and he's also devised a new method of protecting the glass from further damage. Well, they've been fitted inside double glazed units. The double glazed units are made of toughened glass, so you can hit them with a sledgehammer, you can't break them. So even the biggest tourist falls against it, they won't break those windows. Toughened glass is heat treated so its 5 mm width is as strong as a thickness of 25 mm. And completing the job has been difficult, costly and time consuming, with Casey making a new pattern for the window from scratch. My part of it was about $10,000 and there was also costs involved in scaffold making the double glazed units and also the joinery, there was quite a lot of work there because the double glazed units are thicker and wider than original so all the woodwork had to be routed out, a new beading made and so forth. But Casey says barring a fire or earthquake, the lead light should stay intact forever this time. Devi Narona, 39 Dunedin News.